let's start with an exercise. So you ask your friend what's his opinion about his last mechanic, the one who fixed his car, and you ask him whether he's trustworthy or not. And he says, like. So besides the fact that it's becoming really an annoying joke and the fact that it's uh, useless as a feedback, what's really important here is that it doesn't bring any new information. You don't know if the mechanic is actually trustworthy or not. And the reason this is why this is important is that feedback is a building block of trust. And if you, can't, you take trust as a feeling we have or as a mental process, it is um, a driver, a currency for our social interactions. It's what has driven our society to, to, uh, forward. In a way, it's, it's a platform of evolution. So when the mechanisms of feedback change, trust starts to evolve, and our, our evolution is impacted. Now, you might wonder, is this like going to really impact our evolution? And this is a, and a question we asked ourselves too. Um, I'm an economist and a statistician, passionate about big social big data, and in the last project I worked on with an e-commerce company, we tried to see how a product would prefer, perform, so the, the the people's trust in a product quality, whether it, w it had social likes or not, so the Facebook like the F likes or not, uh, on, the one on the one hand, and more importantly, a scenario where it ha would have the Facebook likes, then another where it would have simply the rating stars that you would see on Amazon normally, and that res resemble the way we give feedback more often in reality offline, and a scenario where you would have both. And what we reached, is this, and I'm really proud of this. Facebook killed the rating stars. In a way, what's happening here, and specifically, um, more specifically in some age um, demographics, and in, in a specific age bracket, is that Facebook likes are becoming much more influent than the rating stars. Now, I'm not here to say if that this is bad or good, but I do want to give it some perspective. One thing is that Facebook likes are binary, meaning you either like or you don't. Actually, if you don't, you're voiceless. The likeless on the web are voiceless. They don't express their opinion. You don't put one star when you don't like a product. You don't do a thing. You just move on. And the last thing, and the most important thing, in my opinion, is that Facebook likes are accumulative sum. It's a number we see. It's 12,000 or 12K or anything. And the thing about this cumulative sum is that it doesn't promote in any way our collective insights where average rating stars do. A three over five is the result of each of our opinions. Facebook likes aren't. They are simply a number that means nothing. So the reason why I'm talking about this, the reason why I think it's compelling is because for a moment there, we thought we were building a better, smarter, online democracy. And it feels like we're losing out on a major opportunity. Uh, and we shouldn't. Thanks.